Walk with History is visiting the Hatfields and the McCoys here in Pikeville, Kentucky. Hi, Jen of Walk with History, historian, veteran, and look at the sign behind me, the Hatfield and McCoy feud. This is a quintessential part of American history. When you talk about any bitter rivalry or feud or fight, these are two American families that had a long-term feud against each other. And we're gonna go to the locations surrounding this today, tell you more about it, what started it. It's, it all starts with the Civil War and picking sides, then property, then intermarriage and it leads to a lot of deaths a lot of hardship and in the end no one really wins but there are descendants of the Hatfields and McCoy still today you still read about it in literature you still see it and it's even the doctor from Star Trek McCoy is a descendant supposedly a descendant from the McCoy family in Pikeville. It has two mannequins of the two patriarchal Hatfields and McCoys. It has the bed of the brother that basically starts the feud. This bed belonged to Asa Harmon McCoy and his wife Martha McCoy. Um, they were the leaders of the McCoy clan and Asa was a Union soldier. So he is the first casualty of the feud on January 7th, 1865. So his brother is Randolph. So this is what's gonna start. His, this is the bed of the guy that starts the whole issue, right? Because the Hatfields and the McCoys, here we got Randolph, old Randall, and here we got William Anderson, devil ants. They both fight for the Confederacy. They're both on the same side of the Civil War. But it's his brother who fights for the Union. And his brother fights for the Union. It pisses off his uncle, who also fights for the Confederacy. So his uncle kills his brother. And this is what's going to start the whole thing. And they this happens in, eight, in 1865. Here's William Anderson Hatfield. Here's Randolph, old Randolph McCoy, and this is the feud, what we will come to think of in America as a historic, bitter rivalry. But this is the, the miniseries. So if you remember, you got the McCoys with Bill Paxton, and you got the Hatfields with Kevin Costner. And then this is the uncle who ends up killing Asa. We can't park there, and the guy's badge, his last name's at Hatfield. And I said, Are you a family member of the Hatfields and McCoys? And he was. He is the great great grandson of Floyd Hatfield. He actually owns the land now where the shooting took place of the three brothers. And he told us how, you know, he has a pipe that runs through his land. And at one time, one side of it was owned by the Hatfields, and one side of it was owned by the McCoys. So if you can understand, this feud is mostly because they have, they share the same land, they share the same uh, interests, they're on the same location, and uh, it's just bitter blood through the years. So we're in Blackberry, Kentucky, and this sign is telling you the initial first incident that started this Hatfield and McCoy feud the killing of Asa Harmon McCoy. So this is Randolph McCoy's brother, and he is killed by Jim Fance, who is Anderson Hatfield's uncle. And this is gonna start the whole thing. And it's because of the Civil War, because that McCoy, Asa Harmon McCoy, is a Union soldier, and Jim Vance is a Confederate. And even though both the patriarchal Hatfields and McCoys are both Confederate soldiers, it doesn't matter, Asa, McCoy is a Union soldier, 
And because of this area of Kentucky, which people fought for both sides, when people come back here after the Civil War, tensions are still really high, loyalty is still really high, and it turns out that Jim Vance will kill McCoy because of it. Kentucky, two things happen here that are very pinnacle in the McCoy Hatfield feud. One, when that pig wanders from the McCoy family farm over to the Hatfield family farm and it's claimed by the Hatfields, this is where the trial takes place. This is where the hog trial happens and the Hatfields are found in favor because the person who's presiding over the trial is a member of the Hatfield family. But the second thing that happens in August of 1882 is an election was held near here. And a fight broke out between Tolbert McCoy and Ellis Hatfield. Tolbert McCoy is Randolph's son, and Ellis Hatfield is uh, Anderson's son. And Tolbert's brothers joined in the fight, as did Ellison Hatfield, who's the brother of Anderson Hatfield who was stabbed and shot. So the three brothers, they stabbed him and, and, and shot him. Now, when he later died, when Ellison dies, that's when Anderson Hatfield, old aunt, rounds up those three brothers, ties them to these pawpaw trees, and kills them. And this is a big deal for the Hatfields and McCoys because this is when the patriarch really steps in, Anderson Hatfield really steps in, and kills the three sons of Randolph McCoy. And he kills them because they killed his brother, Ellison. So this is where that whole fight takes place. So this cabin, it's been rebuilt now, is a very important site in the Hatfield-McCoy feud. But this cabin has since been rebuilt. Even though we had met uh, with a gentleman and these footprints are footprints from the Hatfield McCoy family, right down here. See these little footprints here and in the stone. But at one time this was in disrepair, and then the the local government here took interest and rebuilt it. The chimneys were rebuilt with original stone, and these are original steps here in front. But this is where the this is where it's really going to turn. After this hog trial happens in 1878, this is where it really turns the tide. Now, a hog being stolen or property being stolen at this time, it's the equivalent of a hog is a felony, it's a felony case, not a civil case. So really it should have been tried in the county seat of Pikeville where we were with the museum but because they want to bring it under a civil case and keep it with uh, the Hatfield Justice of the Peace, they bring in a jury of uh, six Hatfields and six McCoys. Although when I talk about the intermarriage of the families and how people didn't want to testify against their wives, family, or things along that nature, it's Anderson Hatfield, the Reverend Anderson Hatfield, the preacher Anderson Hatfield, who's the cousin of uh, old aunts, who's going to side with the Hatfields for the hog. So right outside of Hardy, Kentucky, and this is where the McCoy house was, the actual Randolph McCoy house was. And this is what gets burned in 1888, but this is where the Randolph family, Randolph McCoy family lived. 
This is where their well is. This is where their cabin was. And over here, this mountain across from their house is where the pig, the infamous pig, who does the pig belong to? The Hatfields and the McCoys. And this pig is what's gonna pull them back into this feud 13 years after McCoy's brother has been killed. So this is what pulls them back in because this feud over the pig and then the house burns January 1st, 1888. So the, the, their cabin was right over here. This is where their cabin was. So their well was right beside it. And look at like this nice little valley through here. Uh, but this is where the McCoy cabin was. How neat is that, right? And the McCoy boys who were killed in the, the, uh, the ambush, uh, the retaliation, uh, Ants Hatfield being there, they're buried right down the road here. So this is really McCoy land. <laughs> really rural Kentucky and you got the Hatfields, you got the McCoys, you have them having a bunch of children and of course you're going to get intermarriage. You're going to get people who fall in love and marry each other and have children. So you have these, you don't know who the loyalties are at and it just becomes this long drawn out affair. But here is a statue of uh, Randall McCoy. Here where his house used to be in Hardy, Kentucky. I'm at 235 Main Street, Pikeville, Kentucky, and this is the McCoy house. So after the Hatfields burned the McCoy home, January 1st, 1888, Randolph and Sarah McCoy never returned black to Blackberry Creek. And then they lived here and uh, Randolph operated a ferry across Big Sandy River. So this is the McCoy home here in Pikeville, Kentucky. It's now a restaurant, but if you wanted to visit their home, it's right here, 235 Main Street. So here's the sign for the McCoy Cemetery. It says, among the graves in the McCoy Cemetery, those of Randolph McCoy's three sons, Tolbert, Farmer, and Randolph Jr. Now, as you remember, those are the three boys who stab the Hatfields' brother, he ends up dying, and because he ends up dying, the Hatfields take the three of them, tie them up to trees, and shoot him and kill him. To get to the cemetery, you have to climb up a lot of steps and basically a hill. The map directions take you to this parking lot down here, and then you climb up this hill to get to, the, to Randolph McCoy's grave. So if you're expecting to come up here and visit his grave, be prepared to walk some steps and to walk a pretty substantial grade up this hill. His grave is easy to find though. It has the black fence around it and it says McCoy grave on it. Over my shoulder is the gravesite of Randolph McCoy and Sarah McCoy. These are the, the head of the McCoy family that is part of this Hatfield and McCoy feud. Randolph McCoy will fight for the Confederate army in the Civil War. Sarah will bear 16 of his children. And Randolph will end up losing his eight children in this feud between the Hatfields and the Corey. He ends up losing eight children as a result, including uh, three sons in the, the big event where the sons are tied to the trees and shot by the Hatfields. But here is their final resting place. We're here in Dill's Cemetery in Pikeville, Kentucky. And you can visit their graves here. I think their daughter is also beside them. Outside of Macar, Kentucky, they have this monument to the Hatfields and the McCoys. A little monument to William Anderson Hatfield, patriarch of the Hatfield side of the family, 1839-1921. He has 13 children and he dies January 6, 1921 and he's buried with Sarah Ann in West Virginia. He finds the Lord and is baptized at the end of his life. Here is Randolph McCoy. This is the patriarch of the McCoy family, 1825-1914. He was born October 30th, 1825. He married Sarah McCoy December 9th on my birthday. 
1849, they lost their home and seven children as a result of the Hatfield and McCoy feud. After the feud, Randolph operated a ferry in Pikeville for many years. Remember, he moves there in 1881 after his cabin is burned down. He dies March 29, 1914, and he's buried at the Dill Cemetery in uh, Pikeville, Kentucky. We visited there. This monument does a really cool job of showing West Virginia on one side and Kentucky on the other side and the Tug River that kind of separates West Virginia and Kentucky and the Hatfields and the McCoys and it kind of goes through the timeline of what is happening in the family between the, the two. So you have the McCoy here on the Kentucky side, you have the Hatfields on the West Virginia side and just their feud and the things that happen a long, a long time. and the McCoys, they never really make up. Uh, McCoy will move away, Hatfield will find the Lord, and they never really make up. Their feud just basically stops. Today, though, family members of the Hatfields and the McCoys meet annually for a kind of family reunion, and they have buried the hatchet a long time ago. But this Hatfield-McCoy feud is still synonymous in American history with any bitter conflict or long-term family strife. And it's still used today in many instances. And if you ever hear anyone talk about, you know, a bitter rivalry like the Hatfields and McCoys, you'll know where it started from. On to our next Walk of History. Yeah.